Here we go. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It's seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. Today we're talking about are you playing a long game or a short game? It has nothing to do with your golf game. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, and today we're talking about long game versus short game. Before we get to that, though, uh, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, and whether you're watching whatever venue you are watching or listening in, please leave a comment, leave your name, let me know where you're watching from, say hi, how you doing, whatever. Just love seeing those comments roll in and knowing that you guys are out there. See, I can see some of you are lurking and you're not saying hi. So I'll go back and find out who you are at some point. Hey, uh, listen, we are all week this week. We've been talking about planning and has some great conversation going on so far. And I know that this is a topic that's challenging for a lot of you. Um, so I want to. I, I've got to keep moving through some of this, but I'm I'm here. I'm happy to answer your questions. Shoot me that email, Tom at TomRigsby.com, or just leave me a message here on the video. I will answer all your questions for you. All right. So um, today we're we're basing our quote today or our our topic today off a of quote. This one's from Larry Winget. If you don't know Larry, you should go look him up. Nobody ever wrote down a plan to be broke, fat, lazy, or stupid. Those are the things that happen when you don't have a plan. Now, a lot of you might, and a lot of people, are going to push back against that and say, well, no, Tom, I've got a plan. Like, really, what's the time horizon on your plan? Because if that time horizon is this month or this quarter or maybe this six months, what's your long game? If you're not playing with a long game in mind, then you don't really have a full plan, right? And I I get to this too. I had a great conversation yesterday afternoon where we talked about how many plans you should have. And I made a post, an an Instagram post on this and, and got some interesting feedback on that as well. But if you're not, if you don't have that long-term outcome in mind, the long game, then then you don't really have a plan. If your plan is to retire and live the good life someday, what does that mean? Give me some details. I get that answer a lot, and people just look at me like a deer in the headlights. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because those things matter. Knowing what those things are that you are working toward matter. Because if you're not able to articulate them, then you're not able to use them as decision-making criteria when opportunities come along that might change your plan. Because that happens every day, right? An opportunity is just a set of circumstances. So when a set of circumstances come along that, that might attract us or draw us to veer off of our plan, we have to be able to understand whether making that change ultimately moves us toward the long goal, the, the, the long-term outcome we're looking for, or whether it's a distraction. And by understanding that, then we'll make better decisions, right? Does that make sense? So this, and, and I want to get this in too, because this was such a great topic um, yesterday, this conversation I had yesterday. If you have more than one plan, you're already doing it wrong. That was the post, something like that, the post I put on Instagram. The point being that there is only one plan. If you have a plan A and a plan B, that assumes that either plan A or plan B is sufficient to reach the outcome. And the reality is that it's not. Your plan changes every day. My field of view changes every day. What I have access to, what I can see, what I know, what I understand to be true changes every day. And as a result, my plan or my set of intentions 
changes every day. So if I wrote down a plan, let's say I do a business plan six months ago for my business, I get started and a new competitor pops up, a new supplier comes around, maybe Amazon enters the field and completely undermines my whole idea. How valid is that plan? My set of intentions is completely different now. So I have to update the one plan. Don't switch to plan B or C or D or triple Z. It's the plan. All right, so think about it that way. You can have a short term. Then the short term plan is really just a smaller subset of your long term plan, right? So go ahead, might as well go ahead and think long. Think about that outcome that you want to create and then work backwards moving into it. All right. All right. That's it for today. Be thinking about that long, uh, that long game. If you have an idea what your long game is, I'd love to hear what it is. Drop it in the comments down below. Share a little bit of, of that with us so that we can get some eye. Maybe, you know, maybe your ideas will help fuel someone else's ideas. Uh, and, and look, you don't know, we never have to worry about somebody stealing our ideas because ideas are worthless. Pl- execution, execution, that's priceless. All right. It's Wednesday. Uh, well, I will not be at the coffee shop today. So just a heads up for anybody that stops by there. Uh, I will be back here though tomorrow with another installment of seven minutes in the morning till then you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you then.